chance to win $1 million. All they have to do is prove that they are smarter than a fifth grader. It's that easy. All right, let's meet our class. Kyle, Jacob, Alana, Spencer, and Marty. You guys ready to meet our first student? Yeah! He is a 30-year-old mortgage consultant who attended St. Fabian's Elementary. Please welcome Adam Adore. Look at, Look at that. Oh, boy. But, hey, can, you, you've got your pants up as high as my father-in-law there. <laughs> he actually got his chest hair, caught it his zipper. I mean, how do you do that? <laughs> These are your new classmates. They're going to be taking the same test that you're taking, and during the course of the game, we're actually going to let you cheat off of them. So choose one of them, and let's get started. Who's the moneymaker? Who's the moneymaker? Kyle, Kyle, come on, come on up here. Let's make you some money. Let's rock and roll. All right. Oh. Let me tell you how we do this, Adam. On the board, you're going to see 10 subjects. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. The 10th question, if you get it right, is worth $500,000. Once you ace this test, and we know you will, we will give you an additional grade school question that will be worth $1 million. Now, Adam, if at any point our test gets to be too difficult, you can drop out of school, you can take the money you've earned, you can leave with it, but before you go, you must look into that camera and tell millions and millions of people, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I agree. We have a deal? We have a deal. All right. <laughs> Let's find out, is Adam Adoy smarter than a fifth grader? Let's play the game. All right, Adam, pick your first subject. Well, moneymaker to my left, what do you think? Geography, science, and history. Geography, okay. science, and history. Here's the scary thing. A couple of those are sitting at the fifth grade level. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. Kyle, what do you think about the little bit of uh, first grade art? That's what I'm gonna go, yeah, first grade okay. art. First grade art. Here is the question, Adam, for $1,000. There are three secondary colors. Two of them are purple and green. What is the third? There are three secondary colors. Two of them are purple and green. What is the third? I told you during the course of the test, that you were going to be able to cheat off your classmates. Let me tell you how that works. You have two cheats. Once during the game, you can peek at your classmates' paper if you like their answer. You can go with it. If not, you can go with your own. Once during the game, you can copy your classmates' paper, but it means you must take the answer they've written down. And you have one save, which means if you answer the question incorrectly, but your classmate here at the podium has the right answer, you get the money, and we keep on playing. Let's rock and roll. Your classmate Kyle has locked in his answer. Tell me what you're thinking here, Adam. Uh, not a lot. I really don't remember the secondary colors, and that's uh, for a first grade question. Do you remember the primary colors? Yes, yeah, so that might help me out a little bit here. Um, man, oh man, I must have been absent this day. <laughs> uh, let's see here, three secondary colors. Two of them, purple and green. Third, what is the third? Purple, right? If we had a category easier than first grade art, uh, I would... <laughs> I would put it up there. This is, uh, this is just one of those that I, I really don't remember. Let's see. First grade art. What, you were eating the paste, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm the glue, yeah? You got that, all right. Oh, That's Lordy. That's funny, eating the paste. I'm gonna guess at the answer, and I'm going to say that out of the three secondary colors, the third one, aside from purple and green, is yellow. Okay. You said you knew the primary colors. Mm -hmm. What are the primary colors, Adam? Uh, I believe the primary colors, and don't laugh at me, red, blue, and, boy, I don't know. Arts, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's not funny, I don't, I, I don't know. Can I we do laugh at you know. now? Yeah, I do, yeah, in yellow. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Wonderful. Because the primary colors, when you mix red and blue, blue together, you get purple. Purple. When you mix blue and yellow together, you get green. Green. When you mix yellow and red together, you get orange. That would be the third secondary color, unless your little classmate here, your little money maker, has written down orange. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. You're going home. Come on, Kyle. While the bus smoke is still lingering Come in front on, of the Kyle. school. Come on, Kyle. For one thousand dollars, let's see what Kyle wrote. Orange. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is tougher than it looks. Thank you, Kyle. Aren't you glad you picked Kyle? Aren't you glad? I <laughs> you like that was a good one. Yeah. That was good. I don't care what you say. All right, you got a thousand. Let's turn it into two thousand. What do you say? Let's rock and roll. Come on. Come on. All right, pick another subject. Let's go first grade music. First, first grade, grade music, music yeah. for two thousand dollars. Keeping it low. Keeping it low. The two thousand dollar question is. Which of the following instruments is a member of the percussion family? Viola, xylophone, or bassoon? Wonderful. Which of the following <laughs> instruments is a member of the percussion family? Okay. Viola, xylophone, or bassoon? Kyle has locked in his answer. I play the guitar. Uh, I don't play a bassoon, that's for sure. I um, don't even know what a bassoon is. <laughs> I'm not saying you're a bassoon, <laughs> but you play one on TV, right? Yeah. No, that's a buffoon. Never right. mind. All right. right. Okay. Um, <laughs> I do not believe. Now, do you know what percussion means? Yes, but I do know what percussion means. Yes, we're doing a little, a little percussion. I don't think you can do a little percussion with a viola. Well, the good thing is it's multiple choice. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I've narrowed it down to one answer. Um, either between two of them. I really don't think it's the viola. But you, you, have your, you have your teach. I'm going to have to use one here. I, I really don't know. This is as is, is depressing as that may be. Oh, my gosh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, oh, my gosh, really? Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Oh um, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it without a sheet here. For some reason, that xylophone is just ringing my bell. So I'm going to go with the xylophone, B. Don't give me that look, Jeff. Please don't give me that look. Kyle cannot save you twice. I don't like that look. I really don't like you that You let look. him shame you into this. I know I did. You were going to peek at his paper. I was going to. I... Good thing you didn't need to. You got $2,000. Yeah! 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 Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, my man. Rock and roll. Good job, buddy. A percussion instrument is any instrument that makes noise by you striking it. You got $2,000. Your classmates only help you two questions at a time. Time to pick another one. All right, who wants to rock and roll? Alana, I like, come on, Alana. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's win some money. Come on. We're playing for $5,000. Pick another subject, Adam. OK, Alana, what do you, what do you like in here? What, what are your favorite subjects? Um, geography and grammar. Grammar? OK. All right, uh, let's go with uh, second grade grammar. Second grade grammar. Second grade grammar. <laughs> Our $5,000 question is coming up right after uh. this. Our contestant, Adam Adori, has got $2,000. We're playing for five. Come on! Let's go! After a shaky first grade, we have moved up to the second grade, and Adam has selected second grade grammar. Our $5,000 question is, how many singular nouns are in the following sentence? Jeff went to the park to see the flock of seagulls. How many singular nouns are in the following sentence? Jeff went to the park to see the flock of seagulls. 
Your classmate Alana has locked in her answer. How many singular nouns are in the following sentence? I do know what a noun is. So, um, Jeff went to the park to see the flock of seagulls. Okay, one, a flock is, I don't think a, a flock, is a flock a noun? I know two for sure, so I'm just, I'm, I know seagulls is, is definitely a, a plural noun. I'm gonna exclude that out of the equation. Jeff and Park are two, um, two singular nouns. The question is, is this is flock, a flock of seagulls. Is flock a singular noun? And I do not believe it is. Flock of seagulls has not had this much TV time in 20 years. <laughs> okay, um, what I'm gonna do here, Alana, she says she's pretty good at grammar. Gonna have to peek at her paper. I don't know if, I don't know if flock is a singular noun. The question says, how many singular nouns are in the following sentence? Jeff went to the park to see the flock of seagulls. Your classmate Alana said, one flock. Now, what are you thinking? Now I am in trouble. See, I think you know this. It they think helps. you know this. Do you know you know this? Right. It actually helps me out that she thinks flock is a noun, but a person, a place, or a thing um, is also a noun. And Jeff is a singular noun. That's a, that's a name. I, I believe that would be a noun. Um, that, that'd be you. That, you're, 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 you're here. You're a person, right? You're right in front of me. So I'm actually going to say, I'm going to say three. I'll tell you this, she is wrong. In a weird twist of fate, you had two, she had one, you put them together, you get three, and you've got five. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Got it, Jenny. Little, little here, little right here. Woo! I actually helped out, believe it or not. All right, oh, you got 5,000. Let's go for 10,000. Come on! Pick a subject, Adam. I'm gonna go third grade geography. Third grade the geography. The $10,000 question is... True or false, the equator passes through the southern tip of North America. True or false, the equator passes through the southern tip of North America. <laughs> Classmate has locked in her answer. True or false, that's good news, Adam. I agree, I agree. 50-50. <laughs> yep. What are you thinking? I'm thinking the southern tip of North America would be you know, down by, I, I believe that would be down by Texas and down by uh, maybe Florida. Um, let's see, the southern tip of North, of North America. North, I don't remember the equator being anywhere close. You don't to have the, one of those t-shirts that say, my parents went to the equator and all I got was this lousy <laughs> t-shirt, right? <laughs> I would love to get that $25,000 question. Um, I do have that copy left. I don't want to go, you know, not wait, you know, waste it. I'm actually gonna answer this one on my own, and I'm going to lock in my answer. My answer is gonna be false. You said false. We're gonna find out whether you have $10,000 or you're going home with nothing right after <laughs> this. fifth grader. Our contestant, Adam, has $5,000. He's playing for $10,000. The question, true or false, the equator passes through the southern tip of North America. You said false. I'll tell you this. The entire class has answered the question correctly. 
I hope, I'm, the hope I'm part of the class. class said, Am I part of the class? You are part of the class. You got $10,000. Yeah! 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 Yes, the money maker! Nice job, Alana. All right, it's time to pick another classmate, Ooh. Adam. Oh, who do we like? Who's my money maker? Who's my money maker? Spence, come on up, Spence. Yeah! Come on up. Tell me you like vocabulary. I like vocab. Yeah. He said he likes vocab. This is a okay. big question. I hear you. Because up until this point, if you answer incorrectly and you don't get saved by your classmates, you'd be going home with nothing. You answer this question correctly, no matter what happens the rest of the day, you're walking out of here with at least $25,000. Pick a subject. Okay. Let's reach $25,000. Let's, Let's get there. You like vocab? So so? So so? All right, let's climb the ladder slowly. Let's go with second grade vocabulary. Second grade vocabulary. The $25,000 question is what word that starts with the letter Q can mean both a spike on a porcupine? or a bird feather used as a pen. What word that starts with the letter Q can mean both a spike on a porcupine or a bird feather used as a pen Spencer has locked in already? Hmm. What you thinking, Adam? I'm thinking I actually know this. I'm actually pretty confident in my answer. Just want to make sure in my head. I'm actually going to go with the answer quill. Are you quivering just a little bit right now? Oh, no, don't even start. You had the chance to quit after you heard the question. <laughs> Did you hit the buzzer too quickly? Adam. Yes, sir. I'll be quiet. Please don't be you quiet. You got $25,000. Yeah! Yeah! If you're gonna stay in our classroom, I do ask you to bring your energy up just a little bit, yeah. all right? Uh, okay. All right, what are you thinking, Adam? I'm thinking climbing up the ladder here. Now, uh, Spence, what did you, what'd you say besides uh, the vocab wasn't, you said uh, spelling? Uh, math and science. Math and science? Math and science. All right. I'm actually gonna go against the grain here. I think it'll be a little bit easier of a question with third grade spelling. Third grade spelling. Third grade spelling. The $50,000 question is coming up Come right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Adam Adori, has got $25,000. <laughs> yeah! Adam, what are you gonna do with the money you win today? Uh, depends how, how far I get up the, the ladder here. With the 25 grand, I could probably already start uh, getting the works together for a sports bar I actually want to open up. Oh, you want a sports bar? Yeah, that's, that's cool. what I want. I love sports, and right. that'd be something I always wanted to do. So that okay. would be uh, well on my way to it, that's for sure. Never would have pegged you as a guy that likes sports and beer, Adam. <laughs> And nothing makes a teacher prouder than having a student that wants to open up his own bar. So, uh, <laughs> you've selected third grade spelling. Adam, here is the $50,000 question. How many times does the letter U appear in the following phrase? The quiet hum of the vacuum. How many times does the letter U appear in the following phrase? The quiet hum of the vacuum. It's a free question. It's a no-brainer, which is good news. <laughs> the 
classmate Spencer has locked in his answer. <clears throat> okay. Um, the quiet hum of the vacuum, correct? The quiet? Quiet. Hum. Hum. Of the vacuum. Of the vacuum. Where they're laughing. It looks like looks like a scene out of a beautiful mind. <laughs> Does it come with spell check? <laughs> it's all up here. It's all up here. It's tough. You can't write anything down. Um, the quiet hum of the vacuum. Free stab at it. I'm actually uh, gonna lock in my answer. I'm gonna say four. <laughs> What's a vacuum sound like, Adam, you know? Right? How many U's are in that? <laughs> what does a vacuum do? A vacuum... Vacuums? It does what? Sucks. Sucks. <laughs> but you don't. You got 50,000. Yeah! Pick another classmate. Come on, Jacob. Let's rock and roll, my Lord. Go! Yeah! Come on! Wait a minute. Yeah. Look at you guys. You know, who, you know who we say he looks like? Who? Oh, from The Incredibles. Yeah. Right? You look kind of like the dad. You guys yeah. could be The Incredibles here. <laughs> well, let's hope. Let's hope you do incredible work together. Listen to this, Adam. You yeah. are playing for $100,000. Pick a subject. Jacob, Jacob, you good at one of those? Uh, math, science, and history. Math, all, all three of them? All of them. Math, science, and history. Now, when you went to school, what was your best subject? My best subject, believe it or not, was math, but with the way these questions are going, I, I don't think I can go with it. You have math up there, you have two histories, one science. Right, right. Pick one of them, let's play for 100 grand. Let's rock and roll. Okay, let us go with, uh, let's go fourth grade math. Fourth grade yeah. math, come on. Come on, yeah. The $100,000 question is, what whole number is the closest to the square root of 50? What whole number is the closest to the square root of 50? Jacob has locked in his answer. Oh boy, what whole number is closest to the square root of 50? Well, the square root of 50. Number. Well, this is for a lot of money. If I copy Jacob's paper, I have to go with that. You answer, have to correct? go with the answer that he wrote down. This is for a hundred grand. The least I walk out with here is twenty-five thousand dollars. If I get it wrong, I want to say it's twenty-five. Um, that may sound silly, but um, you can't walk out of here with fifty thousand. All right, let's go for the gusto. I'm actually going to lock in. I'm going to copy uh, Jacob's paper. Come on, Adam. kid. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Do you know what a square root is? I believe so. I what do you think so. it is? I believe if you, uh, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of powers too. Three to the third power is, you know, three, six, nine. I'm getting that confused with square roots right now. Square root is what number multiplied times itself would equal that? What number multiplied times itself would be the closest to that? Um, it would be seven. 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 That's right. You decided to copy his paper. What Jacob said is the only thing that matters. Let me ask you something before I show you this. Have you ever done a keg stand? <laughs> I've been known. I've been known. Um, 
Would you do one tonight if you left here with $100,000? Uh, if I made it off the stage without passing out, I may. Um... <laughs> what did I tell you the right answer was? Seven. For $100,000. Can we see Jacob's answer, please? No! 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 Here's the good news. You got $100,000. The bad news is Jacob has got to return to the class because you have used all your cheats and your saves. It's okay. Uh -huh. All right, my man. You got $100,000. We're playing for $175,000. Pick a subject. Slow <clears throat> science, slow science. Go fourth grade world history. Fourth grade oh. world history. We are going to be playing for $175,000 right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Adam Adori, has got $100,000. We are playing for 175,000. You selected fourth grade world history. The $175,000 question is, what is the name for the form of picture writing used by the ancient Egyptians? What is the name for the form of picture writing used by the ancient Egyptians? What is the name for the form of picture writing used by the ancient Egyptians. That's what I just asked you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy. You know what? Talk it out, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, it's when they used to write on the walls of the pyramids and stuff. They used to draw the little stick figures and dogs and, and uh, <laughs> you know, um, the name of it, the funny thing about this is I'm pretty confident in, a, in an answer. You know what? I'm going to go for this one. I actually know the answer. And that answer is hieroglyphics. I need clarification. Say it for me again. Hieroglyphics? Hieroglyphics. Hi. Ro. Ro. Glyph. Glyph. Eggs. You're saying hi. Ro. Glyph. Eggs. That's the way to say it, right? Say I'll, it again. Hi. Ro. Glyph. Eggs. Oh, hieroglyphics. That's $175,000. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! You're killing me! You're killing me! You're killing me! You're killing me! Oh. Adam, we only have two questions left. Tell me about the sports bar that you want to build. What are you gonna call it? I got a funny name for it. It'd be a Dory's Bada B. Not Bada Bing, but Bada B. <laughs> I just like that. Bada B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Let's go down to a Dory's Bada B tonight. <laughs> you have $175,000. The next question is worth $300,000. Two subjects left on the board. Pick one of them, Adam. Oh. 
gonna go fifth grade science. Fifth grade science. Listen to the question before you answer because you can hear the question and still walk away. Once you hit that button, there's no turning back, all right? The $300,000 question is, what do plants lose in the process known as transpiration? Roots, water vapor, or seeds? What do plants lose? Multiple choice, one in three shot. Of course they give me the multiple choice here. What do plants lose in the process known as transpiration? Roots, water vapor, or seeds? I know when, when people transpire, you know, uh, or, or sweat, you know, they lose water vapor, or they lose water from their body. Plants We've experienced the... a little bit of that today already. <laughs> What do plants lose in the process known as transpiration? Is that the correct pronunciation? Transpiration. Transpiration. Transper perspiration would be for the human. Okay, roots, water vapor, or seeds. One in three shot. Right now, you have 175,000. You can walk out of here with that. If you answer incorrectly, you're going to drop down to 25,000. What do plants lose in the process? You got a one in three shot. I understand that, but I, I don't think they lose roots because um, the plant would be dead. Water vapor, because they always contain the water in the seeds. To be completely honest to you, uh, this is so hard because it's just multiple choice. It would be easier to walk away if it wasn't multiple choice. You know what? dropping out of school. Come on! I'm proud of you. Thank you. That's smart. Thank you. Thank you. I did not know the answer. You guys are groaning. This is the only guy in the building that has won $175,000. I don't want to embarrass you. Every one of our fifth graders got the question right. If you had had to guess, what would you have picked? I would have said water vapor. I told you all of these guys got it right. Let's see what the class said. Water vapor. Well, you would have gotten it right, but hey, you got $175,000. Look into the camera and let the world know. My name's Adam Adori. I'm a senior loan consultant. I manage millions and millions of dollars of people's money every day. However, I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. But you got a hundred yeah! and yeah! We'll be right back. Yeah! Right back. Yeah! Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Let's meet our new classmate. She is a 26-year-old veterinarian's assistant who attended Fairmont Elementary in Washington State, and she's originally from Darwin, Australia. Carrie Ann Chernoff. <laughs> Hello, Carrie Ann. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm so happy to be here. Well, welcome to our classroom. Now, I can't believe this. It says that when you were growing up that they nicknamed you Carrie Kaboom because of your temper. You do not look like you have a temper. I have a very bad you temper. You have a bad temper? I do, I do. See, I don't think it's smart to nickname somebody with a bad temper. Uh, <laughs> I well, don't know we what hope do there's no reason to see it today, okay? <laughs> Welcome to our classroom. These are your new classmates. They're gonna be Hi taking guys. the same quiz you're taking. Hi. You're actually gonna be able to cheat off of them, so pick one of them and let's get started. Come on up here. Let's get it, girl. Get All right, Carrie Ann, if at any point this test gets to be too difficult, you can drop out of school, okay? You can take the money that you've acquired, you can leave us, but before you go, you gotta promise me you'll look in the camera and tell the world I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I promise to do that. All right, well, let's <laughs> find out. Is Carrie Ann Sheridan smarter than a fifth grader? There's 
10 subjects. Pick one of them and let's get started. So first. What do you think? Charlie? Geography and social studies. Geography and social studies, she says. Great. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with second grade U.S. geography. Second grade U.S. geography. Carrie Ann, the $1,000 question is, in what U.S. state is the Lincoln Home National Historic Site? In what U.S. state is the Lincoln Home National Historic Site? Classmate Alana has locked in her answer. <clears throat> what are you thinking? You know, I am not very good in this subject, so... Well, you picked it. <laughs> well, you could guess. You got like oh. a one in 50 chance if you guess. <laughs> those, odds, those odds don't sound good to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to copy Alana's answer. So, right off the bat, you're gonna put all the pressure yep. on this 10-year-old girl. I am. Come on. And Alana, let me warn you, she's got a bad temper. So if you're wrong, take off running now, all right? <laughs> Question is, in what U.S. state is the Lincoln Home National Historic Site? Now, Illinois is the right answer, and Alana said, Illinois! I don't usually do this, but you can walk away right now with $1,000. <laughs> you want to keep playing? <laughs> you want to keep playing, Carrie Ann? All right. Yes, I Let, do. I pick a subject, playing. let's go for 2000 <laughs> First grade grammar yeah. for $2,000. Yeah. Carrie Ann, the $2,000 question is, what word is the subject in the following sentence? The spaceship landed in Jacob's backyard. What word is the subject in the following sentence? The spaceship landed in Jacob's backyard. Classmate Alana just locked in. How was grammar for you in school? I was actually good at it. Okay, so. Yeah. So hopefully I'll shine. Hopefully. Subject? <laughs> remember what the subject is in a sentence? The subject is the spaceship. Now, Alana helped you on that last question. Remember that? Let's see what Alana said. The question was, what word is the subject in the following sentence? The spaceship landed in Jacob's backyard. You said spaceship. Classmate Alana said Jacob. I gave you the chance to walk out of here with $1,000. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Uh, kind of. <laughs> you shouldn't be, because you're right. Spaceship is the subject in the sentence. You've got $2,000. We're playing for $5,000. Coming up next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader?